Here with Coach C, Olivia Gunzo, and China Mater. Uh, Coach, you guys played a good Nova team tonight. Um, couldn't come out with the W, but what's some things that you think you did well out there and um, some things you need to improve in? Well, we're, we're the good team. Um, I believe in this team. I believe we're as good as anybody in the league. Now we're starting to punch through the bag a little bit more today. Um, yeah, they got a veteran. They got a veteran in that lineup and a, and a, a big Division One transfer. A well balanced team. They did a good job. They beat us tonight. Uh, but we we have a very good team, and uh, you know we're gonna be okay. Now we're scoring the ball a little bit more, mixing up our defenses. So I believe in us the second half of this SSC season, and they are starting to believe in each other. Especially after today's loss was a little bit more of a win to me and to them. I think. Uh, Coach, I thought you guys had a lot of. Um to tenacity defensively tonight uh you were able to turn them over and uh beat them in the steals category talk about um what leads to you guys is kind of having to come out with that um high defensive intensity i think they'll agree you have two of the best assistant coaches in the business <coughs> that push them and that helped me with the schemes and when you have three coaches that that have heart like like we do and two captains that try to push and motivate and then some other kids coming along it's just easy to play defense because they're trying to work together for the goal and these kids wear their hearts on their sleeves out there and that's why sometimes we bump heads because we all want it so bad um and look the process is real this process is real we're a good team i'll stand behind these guys any day of the week they fight and so that, that's your answer they, they they great great coaches great hearts um but we got to stop turning the ball over because then we give up more points than we actually should because we're hurting our defense and then for Olivia and China, both of you guys, 15 points apiece, uh, shot it really well, um, good percentages. Talk about um, how you guys come into the game kind of locked in and looking for your game offensively. Uh, you know, I get to go against the best defense in the league in practice, and I think that prepares me well to play in the game. Um, obviously, freshman this year, and you've kind of, uh, we've seen over the, se over the season your confidence growing and growing each and every game. Uh, just talk about um, how your coaches and your teammates are able to help you grow your confidence. <laughs> uh, you know, we get in the meetings a lot, and he I know he believes in me because he truly cares, and I think that helps a lot. And then for you, China, uh, like I said, 15 points tonight. Uh, good I think percentage. Six out of seven with 15, 14 or more, Dom. Um, I'm proud of her. I mean, we, we, we fight. You know, she's my kid. She's a pain in the butt, um, but we growing, you know, this plant, this plant is growing, um, but I'm proud of her. And, and trying to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, coaches see belief, coach sees belief in you and kind of what that means to you. Um, coach C knows that I can get downhill and he believes in me and he runs screens in order to get me downhill. And he tells me in practice that you could do it. And he tells me every day, be a triple threat. Don't just be one dimensional. And I believe that he means that. Well, today we got her on the post too, and she got some better transition, a lot less turnovers. I think the one turnover was probably tipped in the last minute, um, but it's just they know, they know what I think they know what it takes because they used to, they saw the best today. They saw the best, and we may not have practiced our best. You know, we were down a guy a couple of days, and that's emotionally and physically hurts us. Uh, but we still prepped, you know. So I think they know with the with the nurturing we're doing, we got a lot of games left, and we're a good team. We're a good team. There's, there's nothing, you know, we just got to be, we got to do a little bit, we got to be a little bit better. What do you, what do you guys think? We just got to be a little better. You know what I'm saying? Set the tip of our fingers. And then obviously moving forward, um, tough conference schedule. You guys travel to Lynn uh, to take on the Knights. Uh, what do you need to do to get back, you know, in the win column and get your flow going again? We're going to Boca to get a W. We have one mission when we get on that bus at 10 o'clock. One is to have a good pregame meal, I hope. Mm -hmm. But then we got to get a win. <laughs> Um, and then you turn it over, and, I, and with these coaches, the, the scouting they do, I believe we're going to be more prepared <clears throat> for teams the second time around and be able to make more adjustments. You know, because these kids listen out of timeouts. Like, she never would have thought we'd run a post up for her out of a timeout. She probably should have had an M1. Um, but it's tough, you know, and I'll say this. We took, we took one free throw the, the last um, 19 minutes of the game. Now, you give us a couple at the end with Tadra, but we took one free throw, Dom, and these kids were attacking. You know, just because the ball goes in the basket don't mean we're fouled. Um, so that's tough. A little tough. Uh, rebounding. rebounding margin and free throw margin. But we'll be ready for Wednesday. Thanks, buddy.